Let us try to understand some of the regular expressions and regular expression related functions in Python. What is a regular expression? Let us suppose you have a large string. In that string, you want to find a particular pattern. Then regular expressions will help you to find a particular pattern. For example, you are looking for a pattern where your customers are writing my customer ID is some kind of XXXX, any numbers followed by one, two, nine and or one to eight this is what you are looking for you have a large text you have a huge paragraph in that you want to find this using regular expressions we can easily find that and there are several other functions that are related to regular expression or you can consider regular expression as a very good way to handle the strings or find out the string related values regex is a new or it's a separate coding paradigm in itself it has its own coding it has its own symbols it has its own syntax we may not be able to master regex completely unless until you are working on strings if you foresee that you are going to work on strings very extensively then i request you to look at regex and understand regex syntax also regular expression syntax also otherwise you can use the functions that i'm giving here and they should be fine you should be able to do most of the tasks the example that we are taking, the data set that we are taking is Airbnb data, Airbnb New York data. Let us have a quick look at it. Airbnb New York data, you have ID, host name, host ID, neighborhood, latitude, longitude, etc. Everything is there. Okay. If I want to know the length of the name, because some names are short, some names are long. If I want to know the length of name, I simply say name. And then I simply use the function called length, L-E and length. That will tell you the length of the names. Here, this length of the names, is it really giving you the length of the name? Is it really telling you what is the length of the name here? No, it is giving you for this whole column, what is the length? So you have to be careful here. It is not really giving you Airbnb length. So what, basically what is happening here is, if you try to print Airbnb NY. Now this is a list or an array of uh, how many values are there? 0, 2, 4, 8, 8, 8, 9, 4. So the length here is actually telling us the length of this particular collection, the length of that list that we have seen. So here, if you try to print this length, so you are getting the length of number of items, like number of items that you are having. That is what we are getting. If you want to find out the length one by one, like one by one, if you want to find out the length, then we have to use a different function. Here the length is the complete length. So that is what the side note you have to make. This is not the length of the complete data. There is one more function. We are going to see actually how do you find out the length of each value inside that. But as of now, you see this length. This is the length of the number of elements or the length of the data set or the number of rows in that data set okay, that you will have. There are other functions called starts with or ends with. For example, if you go to this name, some of the names of the hotels are starting with affordable this is an affordable hotel look at this affordable room so i want to list out all those which are starting with affordable so what i'll do is i'll go here and then first i have to convert it into a string because some of the names may not be always strings some of the names may be totally numbers itself to be on the safe side i'll say string starts with it's a function str dot starts with okay and then i have to say affordable whatever it starts with fo there are multiple ways of doing it by the way okay there are multiple ways of finding out the rooms that are starting with affordable but there is a ready-made function with which says starts with affordable you get this false 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 true this is starting with affordable if you want to actually print that, okay, then you can take this. 
Airbnb data, Airbnb, and you can give this whole thing as the function here. You just give this because it is taking true, false, true, false. And here is a place where you are getting affordables and the non-affordables. So Airbnb data, and then this is the one. So usually what happens is there are some non-value, null values, and n values. That's where this is failing. So in that case, you can give another extra parameter. Starts with affordable comma NA is equal to false. Ignore those NA values and then give me the rest. So here are the ones affordable, affordable, affordable. Everything is affordable, affordable, affordable. Previously, the reason why it failed is there are some null values. So there is null values. It is failing. That's why we are giving NA equal to false. In fact, if you want to do a similar function, let's say ends with, let's say I want to know all the hotels that are ending with, all the names of the hotels that are ending with hotel. In the end, if there is hotel, because there are like Airbnb contains general apartments as well as hotels. So I want to particularly take hotels only. That is also possible. You just write name ends with ends with hotel in the name it is ending with hotel these are all the ones hotel 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 everything is ending with hotel 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 okay or anywhere if you want to find it okay so if you want to use find option like anywhere if it is there it is not at starting not at ending at any point, if it is available, then how do you do it? Let's say if you take a simple example. So you have an example like this. You have a string, simple string. You say entire home or apartment. Okay. You simply need to write dot find. That is a string dot find. And I want to find apartment. So where is this? Wherever it is appearing for the first time, that index will be given 12. Yes, it is found at the 12th position. You can see this being available. Let's say that is not there. You are writing something like apartment is not there. It says it's a small room. That's the name. And the apartment is not found. Minus one. So you'll get minus one when it is not found. If it is found, then you'll get the index. Index will be found. Again, if I do it, let us understand what exactly this find is doing. If you say small, small, is it found? Yes, which is the index zero. Here is the zero. But if I say SMAL, is that found? No, not found. That's why minus one. Ohm, is it found? Yes, it is found. At which position? Eighth position. OMG, oh my God. Is that found? Not found, minus one. Okay, now what I want to do is if the room type, if the room type is shared, that's what I'm interested in. So room type, entire home or apartment, private room, private room, there are some shared rooms. If the room type contains shared, that's what I want to find out. So how do I do it? So simply what I'll do is I'll go to first Airbnb data, Airbnb data, okay. And then if the room type, in that, I'll go to room type. Yes, room underscore type dot str. These are all string functions. str dot find shared. Find shared. If it is found or not found, let us see. Minus one, minus one, minus one means found or uh, not found. Zero means, yes, it is found at the first location. So if it is not equal to, not equal to is exclamatory mark equal to minus one. In those cases only. False, 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 trues. Now on top of it, if I put my Airbnb data, here you go. These are all the places where it has been. Shared is available. Shared, shared, shared. Room type, shared room, shared room. Look at this, room type. At the end, shared room, shared room, shared room, shared room, shared. Okay. That's how you can use that find function. 
we have seen another function called split we have already used it once let us see one more time how split can be used that also falls under these some of the string functions some of these already covered split so i want to split everything with space then i would use split split okay if i do not give anything sorry here i have to give split split if i do not give anything what is it splitting upon space if you don't give anything it will split upon space okay let's say if you are giving a character called slash t slash t is what tab and other okay slash t and then other slash t is a special character tab look at that for us, this looks like a string, but it's not. It is a special character, slash T. Have you ever heard of any other character like that? This is tab for next line, slash, and a new line. What's the output? New line is also used for splitting. So, slash T, slash, and what if you want to split based on slash here? Then, what will be the output like? This is the one here space will not be used so slash t slash n are still considered as space only if you want to split by something else let's say i want to specifically split based on m later m then what will be the output m this is previous to m this is later on whatever is the m let's say there is a variable called host name in airbnb data Air bnb airbnb data there is a variable called host name sometimes there are double hosts so i'll write host underscore name dot str dot split whenever there is an ampersand i would like to split it based on ampersand okay so here is the ampersand and split it to hosts John, Jennifer, Elizabeth, and all that. You're getting the first host. What if you want to get the second host? Because these are the ones that are having single host. Let us take an example of two hosts, actually. Airbnb plus code. Airbnb host name. What are the examples where it has that host name are all the host names having ampersand host name now here look at this there are two values so the output will have first value and the second value host name has ampersand otherwise it's all one 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 what if you want to get you're interested in the first only the host name once there are two values i'm interested in the first guy only then in that case you can give index zero so the result will be only this person will be in considered okay but the problem is it is actually taking this output oops it's not actually giving the output that we are looking for it is actually taking this whole thing as a list from that list it is giving you the first value this is not what we wanted in that case again i will bring in my string functions str dot get zero now this is you can actually use the apply function and you can use that as well like a different way of handling this otherwise you can use get zero this will make sure that you are getting the first one the example that we have seen is this is the guy that we want the first name is here what if you want the second name that should be easy for you instead of saying get zero you'll put get one Nan, 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 because here there are only one, 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 guys. This is the second guy. Get zero or get one, second host or the first host. What if you want to know whether a particular string contains a particular value? String names are containing particular value or not. For example, 
in the name sometimes they mention only for bachelors they have some conditions only for this or only for couples or only for uh, limited to two or something like that so what we will do is in the host name if it says only for so that means i'll say contains if it contains only for only for that is what i want to know in this data set is there any place where it contains only for only those i want to do so false 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 but there might be some truths in between okay so how do you exactly extract them those rows so give the airbnb data and in that data set take me those where it contains only for again the nan values will be throwing the error and a values so how do you handle those errors contains function should you ignore n is yes please and a equal to false yes only for women only for only for check this females only for midtown women elegant room manhattan only for woman only for female only for one solo only 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 for guys okay that's what only for what if you want to replace what if you want to find a particular pattern and replace it with a particular value for example in the room type if it says entire home or apartment that is a room type okay in the room type if it is entire home or apartment i want to replace them with guest house so let us see first let us see the data this is the data in that there is this variable called room type if it is entire home or apartment i simply want to replace them as guest house so how do i do that so here is the option i would like to go to airbnb data air bnb new york data and i want to create a new column called room type new room type new that is equal to air bnb new york data and room type room underscore type dot str the dot str is important because these are all string functions replace you can use the option replace what do you want to replace first of all what is the pattern that you want to find out i want to find out whenever it says entire home or apartment that's what i want to find out and then i would like to replace that with guest house that's what i want to do that is what i want to do i want to replace entire home or apartment using guest house i want to replace that with guest house okay now how does the new data look like let's have a look at it here you go guest house guest house guest house guest house guest house entire home or apartment if you want to replace whether it is uppercase or lowercase then you can say case sensitivity case equal to false that is also possible okay now that is how you can work with certain patterns you can find them you can replace them you can identify them wherever they are apart from this what if you want to identify an email address within a text wherever there is an email address in a large text how do you identify that identify numbers inside a text identify html tags inside a text large text that is given identify specific repeating patterns inside a text for that you have to use the actual regular expression syntax these are all the regular expression syntax for identifying digits decimal numbers negative numbers whole numbers alphanumeric values if you write this wherever there is an email address you'll be able to identify that if you write this wherever there is url you'll be able to identify that regular expression is a kind of new kind of syntax or the code in itself if you are really working on strings 
I suggest you to learn more on regular expressions. This is a website, very good website that will give you an insight on regular expression. You can test it. Okay. So for example, if you want to test inside a regular expression, let's say I want to test like, what does this do? What is the use of this? Okay. D matches any digit equivalent to this one, zero to nine. Okay. This is the one of the example, okay, in the regular expressions, okay. You can actually save that regular, you can give a sample here, okay. So my phone number is one, two, three, nine, eight, six. Look at this, whatever they are matching here, it's giving, okay. And then let's say if you have email address, my email is venkat at the rate full stack full stack dot com what is the regular expression for identifying email addresses so let us take that regular expression for identifying email addresses and let me see whether our regular expression is catching our email address or not because it has to give us wherever there is an email address that regular expression has to capture that isn't it where is it here is it common email addresses and uncommon email addresses so let us take this particular code common email addresses copy it and then this is uncommon email address so i'll ca copy this whole regular expression this whole one uncommon email ids and wherever is the text it has to identify that right so if we give this venkat at the rate, let's say gmail.com, let me write it, gmail.com, is it working? So this particular one is not actually working on this one, delimiters or spaces or whatever it is. Okay. This is the, basically these codes that you see here, these are particular codes that will identify these type of patterns matches a character. Everything has a meaning to it. So as of now, we will just use some of the ready-made regular expressions like this for doing our jobs. But in future, if you want to really focus a lot, learn a lot on regular expressions, you may want to spend a lot of time on this, understand these symbols, understand these syntax and everything, okay? So let us do a simple example on regular expressions just to see how it works, okay. Here is our new data set, some Twitter data, which has a lot of text in it. Let me take that example. So if I go back to once again regular expressions and if I mention this if I say percentage D wherever that digits are there it is identifying all those digits that's what regular expressions do actually they're trying to identify whatever is the code that you are giving here that will be identified there okay Now what we will do is we will get a data set called Twitter data. These are some of the samples from that Twitter data. You have Twitter ID, tweet ID, and then you have raw tweet. Now on that raw tweet, what I want to do is I want to remove digits in the tweet, let's say 1130. I don't want that. Wherever the digits are there, I want to identify them. I want to remove them. So wherever there are digits, I want to identify them, I want to remove them. So how do you do that? So here is the syntax for it. You write Twitter data, Twitter underscore data. Then you mention whatever is the new column that you want to give, that is cleaned tweet, because the earlier one was raw tweet. That is equal to go to Twitter data underscore data and then whatever is the original tweet 
original tweet the variable name is raw underscore tweet that's the original data variable name it has to be in quotes then as usual you write apply l a m b d a lambda x now you have to use regular expressions here regex okay so how do you do that re dot substitute you have to use regular expression dot substitute okay so you will use re dot substitute then you mention what is a pattern x and then you mention whatever is the pattern that need to be found out here we want to find all the digits okay so i write for the digits the code for the digit is r d plus so here even i do not know complete regular expression but somehow from the regular action website i got to know that this is the way you can identify the digits once you identify the digits you want to replace them with kind of uh, space and what is the input the input is string value of x x is the input actually you can directly write x but if there are any numbers i don't want to take chance i simply want to i want to give the tweet as input i want to identify the digit i want to replace them with space that's what i want to do okay so execute that re is not defined that means you have to first import that regular expression import re which is regular expression regex i guess or import re that's it then what you will see is in the cleaned tweet you will not have any numbers nowhere you will find numbers earlier there used to be numbers now this is the final length of the tweet but nowhere let me print several samples sample of 10 10 records nowhere you will find numbers because we have removed all the digits nowhere there will be digits in fact to make it easy i'll give you also the raw tweet so raw tweet comma so give a list of values that need to be printed in that index raw tweet comma sample okay twitter data raw tweet comma cleaned tweet look at that 11th is gone again everything is gone the numbers let me give you another example of numbers where their numbers are appearing and the numbers are gone now is there any number here let me re-execute this every time you execute it a different sample will be printed come on let me print 20 samples at a time eight hours gone 240 gone okay numbers are removed here once again regular expression is a way to find out different patterns now coming back to the first exercise length i told you length is actually giving you the complete length how do you find the individual length so here if i say length of airbnb dot name it is giving me the complete length how do you get to know the exact length so that is a place where you have to use str okay what you need to do is instead of using the direct length use the string function dot str dot length function that will give you length of each and every name this is the length otherwise overall length will give you the overall number of element in this but here i'm not interested in overall number of elements definitely we are not interested in that we are interested in individual values okay that is the story of some of the string functions make sure that you are practicing all this before we move on to the next topic